Okay, let's see how you got on if you had a go. Don't forget you can fast forward just to see the final answer. Now, what I'd want to do, first of all, is just copy the question down. You'll notice I've said let f of x be identical to this expression. You don't have to put this in, it's up to you. But uh, I certainly use the identical sign anyway. Now, what I notice is that in the denominator here, 9x squared minus 4, that factorizes. So I want to factorize that first of all. It's the difference of two squares. 9x squared is the square of 3x and 4 is the square of 2. So using the difference of two squares for that, you should factorize that and get 3x minus 2, 3x plus 2. Okay? And what I now notice is that in this fraction here, because we've got one term on the top, one term on the bottom, there is a common factor between those two terms, the 3x plus 2. So I can cancel that out. So 3x plus 2 into 3x plus 2 goes once, and it goes once there. So that leaves us with a simplified fraction here, 2 over 3x minus 2. So copying that out again, we've got this line here. Now I need to put these two fractions over the same denominator. And that's going to be 3x minus 2 times 3x plus 1. So that means that I would need to times this fraction by essentially 1 in the shape of 3x plus 1 over 3x plus 1 and times this fraction here by 1 in the shape of 3x minus 2 over 3x minus 2. And by doing that, we would put them all over this common denominator then, 3x minus 2 times 3x plus 1. And it means that we end up with 2 times 3x plus 1 minus 2 times 3x minus 2, as you see here. So next we would expand the top line, the numerator. And if you do that, you'll get 6x plus 2 minus 6x plus 4. And then we can group up these terms on the top. And you're just left with the 2 plus the 4, giving us 6 then all over 3x minus 2 times 3x plus 1. Okay?